a series of learning programming in C. We are discussing printing pattern programs in C. In this video, I will talk about how to print this pattern. First of all, we will see the logic on this whiteboard. We will discuss everything. Then I will show you the output on my laptop using VS Code Editor. See, it is very easy to print this pattern. By looking at this pattern, please do not think it is too tough to print. First of all, let me clear this thing. It is very easy to print. Now, why I am saying this? See, in the previous two videos, I have discussed these patterns like first of all this one see in one video we have discussed how to print this pattern full pyramid right in another video i have discussed how to print this pattern inverted full pyramid these are two different different patterns right and if we combine both the patterns then it will look something like this right but the only difference is here if we combine these two like these pattern then in this i am taking what five number of rows here also we have discussed five number of rows right but you can take whatever you want 5 10 uh, 15 20 right so now here the maximum number of stars are nine right here maximum number of our stars are nine in one row only but if we combine these two pattern then two rows would be there having nine stars this is the only difference if we what if we combine coding to print this pattern and coding to print this pattern means you can print this pattern there, there would be no space obviously right <clears throat> right but the difference is here we have two number of rows having nine stars the maximum number of stars but i want what only one row that is having maximum star that is nine this is the only difference so you have to change the code a little bit right you can just copy the code of this pyramid this full pyramid as it is and the code of inverted full pyramid you just have to change a little bit there i want to print only one two three four lines not five lines because in five lines i have nine star but i don't want two lines having nine star so one would be like this from here to here this is full pyramid simply you can print the copy of this code and second one is from here to here here we have only four lines means we don't have this line having maximum stars so you can change a little bit this code I hope you are getting my point now I have already discussed this and this please check out the previous videos right I'll put the that uh, C com programming list I mean uh, the complete list for C programming link in the uh, description box of this video first of all check out that playlist and check out these two videos now I'm writing the code here directly because I have already discussed I already explained properly the code of this thing right so I'm just writing the code I am just combining this code and this code and whatever the change we do that I will discuss it right. Now see if you remember this this was the code from here to here to print this pyramid full pyramid right and from this for loop to here this word was the code to print this inverted full pyramid right. Now I have changed here a little bit because here the code was i was i is equal to rows i have done what rows minus one and i hope you got it why i am doing rows minus one right because here i want only one line having maximum number of stars i don't want to print this line in inverted full pyramid i want to print only four lines that is why i have initialized i with rows minus one number of rows see rows means total number of rows here i am taking only five so means rows here are five five minus four that is five minus one that is four so this loop would be executed only four times means the outer loop would be executed only four times and the outer loop the ith loop is responsible to take care of these number of lines and here i want to print only four lines in this one right or you can change into this one this loop what you can do you can run this loop only four times from here to here and the inverted full pyramid you can print full like this right so this this change you can do here now here you can do i1 i less than equal to rows minus one that's it this loop would be executed only four times either this or this right 
Now maybe you are thinking that in previous video I have told you first of all divide this into number of rows and columns. So here uh, we are having how many rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 number of rows, right? So maybe you are thinking the outer loop should be from 1 to 9. Yeah, that's exactly we have discussed in previous videos, all the previous videos. But you have to think differently also, right? Here, just combination of this pyramid and inverted full pyramid and you will get this thing. No need to do like I from 1 to 9 and then how will you print this pattern, right? You have to think a little bit in a complicated way. Maybe, maybe there are some more ways also rather than just combination of these two patterns. Maybe there are some different ways also. You can also print like this only. Outer loop would be from 1 to 9 and using some loops or some complicated coding you can print this pattern. I agree there can be multiple ways right. I am just discussing the simple and only single way here right. Just combination of these two pattern you will get this thing right. Now see let me just try run this. First of all it will ask from the user enter number of rows you want to print and suppose you number of rows I want to print are 5. I have entered 5 right till maximum maximum number here in this line I am getting maximum number of stars so till here how many lines 1 2 3 4 5 right now i is equal to 1 I would be initialized with 1 1 less than equal to number of rows 5 yes condition true we will enter here space is equal to 1 right 1 less than equal to rows minus i rows 5 minus i value is 1 that is 4, 1 less than equal to 4, yes condition 2 will enter here and space would be printed. One space would be printed, like this, this space would be printed, right. Now, again space plus plus. Now, the space loop would be executed how many times? This is what? 4, 4 times, means 4 space would be printed, 1, 2, 3, 4, right. When space become 5, condition not true, exit from the loop. Now, J loop, J is equal to 1, is 1 less than equal to 2 into I minus 1. I value is 1 means 2 minus 1 that is 1. Yes condition 2 will enter here and 1 star would be printed. Now J plus plus that is 2. But this condition is not true. Exit from the loop and slash and means we will go into the next line. Right. Now it is not like that after this these loop would be executed. No we are still into this outer loop. Outer loop. Right. Now slash and after that I plus plus. Now I value becomes 2. Is 2 less than equal to 5? Yes condition true. Again we will enter here. And like this we will execute the, this thing. Till I value becomes then 3 then 4 then 5. 5 times it would be executed means till here the pattern would be printed. 5 times 5 lines right. Now I become 6 condition not true. Now exit from this outer loop. Exit from this outer loop. Now after this 4 loop we have this line. Now these four loop would be executed, right? Now again I value becomes, now I value becomes what? Rows minus 1, number of rows are 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1 that is 4. Now I value becomes 4, right? Is 4 greater than or equal to 1? Yes, condition true will enter here. Now space would be initialized with 1. Now 1 less than equal to number of rows minus 1, 5 minus, sorry, minus i, 5 minus i, i value is 4, 5 minus 4, 1, that is 1. Space would be printed, means 1 space would be printed. Now space plus plus, but now space becomes 2, but this condition is not true, only the 1 space would be printed. Now, that's it, we exactly want 1 space. Now the star loop, the loop which will print star, that would be executed, this loop. Now j becomes 1. Now 1 less than equal to 2 into i minus 1, i value is 4, that is 8 minus 1, that is 7. Yes condition true, we will enter here, 1 star would be printed now. Now j becomes j plus plus, that is 2. Now how many times this j loop would be executed? Because here we have condition 7, means 7 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 star would be printed. When j value becomes 8, exit from the loop and in the outer loop we have slash and so come in the control will come into the next line right now what i minus minus now i becomes 3 now again this condition true we will enter here and again the whole process would be repeated till 3 2 and 1 yes 4 times 
means till here when i value comes zero this condition is not true then stop it and you will get this pattern right so we have just changed what we have just done i is equal to rows minus 1 here that's it if you print this if you want to print this full pyramid inverted full pyramid you have to initialize with i is equal to rows only total number of rows that's it right and if you want to print this pattern like two rows are having maximum number of stars then no need to change this simply combine the coding for printing this and this that's it no need to change and that we have already discussed right in my previous videos so i hope you got how to print this pattern now let me show you the output so now let me create a new file named pattern 10.c right and i'm just combining the previous two pattern right so this was to print the full pyramid just i just copied this one first right and this was to print the inverted full pyramid so here i'm not going to complete uh, code the complete one to copy the complete code i'm just copying the the logic means from the for loop only right because we don't want header file and those these starting two or three lines again and again right so now i have just combined those two now just before any change just i'm just uh, running it and i'll show you the output now see enter number of rows 5 see here we have these two rows are having maximum number of stars but the actual printing i want in the actual pattern i want only one line right so for this we have to change a little bit you can just do rows minus 1 the inverted full pyramid i would be initialized with rows minus 1 and that's it now let me just run this and enter number of rows 5 and that's it only one row which is which is having maximum number of this row only maximum number of stars now let me just run this for 10 number of rows and that's exactly you want this pattern right i hope now you got it if you don't want to change here if you want don't want to change here i should be number rows only so one more thing is here you can change in the first one i is equal to 1 and i should be number of rows minus 1 that's it and now let me just show you the output see it is asking number of rows you want to print and uh, i am entering 5 and see you this pattern you are getting right so you can change either into this loop or this loop i hope you got it now